uh, NFL level. She drops back for a pass. She's looking for a receiver. And it is caught. It is caught. That's number 20 right there. That's Essence Who Buckner. And she is going to be in for a Derby City Dynamite touchdown. Wow. Great job going over the top, coming up with that catch. Stretched out her fingers. Safety unable to get over in time to make the play. And uh, she's looking forward to being back in there. High snap goes over her head. They're going to have to go fall on it. It is picked up, though, right away by Megan Putnam. But she is taken down. It's a tackle by number 13. That's Brooke Little of Derby City Dynamite. Santa Steven. Another high snap, and this time, though, it's picked up right away by Zulima Durante, and she's able to get to the sideline where she's pushed out of bounds for another short loss that they originally started on the 48-yard line. And that one is Ooh. met right in the middle of the field, met hard once again by number 13, Brooke Little. She is just a powerhouse so far on the defensive line for Derby City. Well, they call... So that ball's picked up by Houston Buckner. She's able to break one tackle as he gets through it. She's getting free, ran out of bounds. That's number 24, Marissa Glenn for the Mile High Blaze that rode her back till she stopped running and got all the way to the 40, excuse me, the 34 yard line. They're looking for it. Wang takes the snap, hands it off to the left hand side. That's number 56. Woo! That's Embry Jr. with the ball. And, and that's she the gets taken down fumble. hard. That's fumble, a fumble on the play. Recovered by your mile high blaze. The recovery by number eight. That's Val Garcia on the recovery. Running back to her left. Receiver in motion. It's a pitch. Right away, met behind Ooh. the screen. That's number 13, <laughs> Brooke Little. We're going to be saying her name all night, Donna. Just call her Brick. Man. Just call her Brick. <laughs> we see her doing her, doing her work. And, and she gets that name, I would guess, because she's a brick wall. Nobody gets through her. Oh, and it's a fake. It's a fake. Look at her go. She's got the first down and then some. She's going to get all the way up. Looks like the 48-yard line across midfield. What a great trick play by the Mile High Blaze. And Lacey Abel picks up their first first down of the game. Yeah, great job. They had complete coverage on the right-hand side. Doing what they need to do, get the ball down the field. This time it's a handoff to number 11, Megan Putnam. Putnam gets a hole up the middle, and she is horse just dragged down. Helmets are coming off onto the field. We got number 20 from Derby City looking for the flag. Santa Steven takes the snap. It's a pitch off to her left-hand side. That's Lacey Abel trying to pick up a block. She gets one, and she's forced out of bounds. Passes up. Santa Steven drops back. She's looking to throw one into the corner, and it is caught for a mile-high blaze touchdown by none other than Smooth. Lowry Jones. This football national championship is brought to you by Aiden Nation, the official sports drink of the WFA. And right away on the second first play of the second quarter, number 42 from Derby City, that's Angelita Furman. Continue to pick up a first down if they're not able to get into the end zone. It's a little flick back there, but no, she is met by the blaze instantly. Meyer had nowhere to go as the blaze busted through that offensive line. Gets a quick snap. It's a pitch off to the left-hand side. She finds a hole. She's trying to look for a block. She gets a couple blocks. She does a spin move. She's going to reach. She doesn't get into there, but she does pick up the first down. That's Buckner again, a name that we've said multiple times. It's touchdowns. It's a trick. And she's, there we go. We got somebody in for the touchdown. Yes, that's number 20, Buckner, once again, showing that why she is considered one of the greats on this team. Well, E-bomb's number two in rushing with 372 yards this year, and number nine in tackle. She's a strong player for them. The pitch off to the right-hand side. Number seven, a little bit of trick play, and that one is in. The two-point conversion is good with that pass complete to number 11, Casey Harris. Well, that was a nice job putting Ebon back under center, letting her score here for the Division II game. So right away, the snap is picked up. It's pitched over to the right-hand side. She finds a hole, and that's number eight again. That's Val Garcia picks up another first down for the Mile High Blaze. Yeah, nice. Mile High is going for it here. 
Hand off right Ooh. away, and this one is not going to go anywhere as she runs right into Angelita Furman, and the Derby City Dynamite will take over on downs. Wang takes a snap. She throws one back. Ooh, that's a, that's that's a backward pass. A fumble, and that is going to be recovered by the Mile High Blaze. Looks like it might be Putnam that's on it. Nope, number 18, of course. Lacey Abel recovers the fumble. Santa Steven waits for the snap. Snap is up. She looks to her left, looks to the right, throws it to the right. She's got a receiver open, and it's going to be complete. And that is going to be in for the touchdown. And Denver answers back. And who else is it again? Lowry Smooth. Lowry Jones. Smooth. Santa Steven waits the snap. Snap is up. She's got somebody wide open in the end zone. I'll let you say, Donna. You who, know who was Ginger was. Gilbert on that play? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> when you've got smooth out there to the edge, you've got to cut. Just a little, little squib kick here. That's number 11. That's Casey Harris on the return for Derby City. Ooh, she almost lost that ball. Yeah, it looks like it was put back into her hands there <laughs> by number 30. Amanda Coyle helped her keep remain possession of that ball. Waiting, snap is up. It's a pitch back to number seven, Alicia Meyer. Meyer, she goes up the right-hand side of the screen. Nothing she doing. She's taken down hard. She's looking at the official, wanting some sort of call on there, but nothing is to come of it. And the mile high is gonna take over on downs. Lone running back on her left-hand side. She drops back, she looks for somebody downfield. She finds a wide open receiver who's gonna break through that tackle. There she goes, that's number 18, Lacey Abel. Gets a first down, a great first down at that. Clock will stop momentarily until the chains are set. And that was just a broken coverage, you look at the corner. Snap is up, San Stevens drops back. She looks to the right, they're gonna run pretty much the same play, and this time it is good. It is in for the touchdown. She's doing a little dance on the field. That's number 26, Skinner. Stephanie Skinner puts the mile high blaze in the lead for the first time this afternoon. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Simpson to attempt the point after here for the mile high blaze. The kick is up, and it's good, and like that, after trailing the game, tying it up, the Mile High Blaze are ahead for the first time with nine seconds remaining in the first half of this game. A court, almost two full quarters of football to go. Santa Stevens is going to be taken down in the backfield, this time by number 35, Letitia Baker, out of Louisville, Kentucky for the Derby City for a big loss on the play. Yeah, no. Center, two running backs behind her. Drops back, looks to her left, looks to her right, looks for somebody to throw, who launches one in the middle of the field, and that one is intercepted. That one's going to be picked off by the Mile High Blaze. That is number two, Brittany Bjork from Mountain View High School in Denver, Colorado, and Derby City now has three turnovers in this game. Wow, and I... ...here in the third quarter. Santa Steven takes the snap. The ball is handed off right away to Lacey Abel, and she is met in the backfield by a whole lot of Derby City Dynamite, mainly number 56, Angie Anderson Embry. Embry came on the blitz right through the middle. Buckner stays in, drops back. She's throwing the ball high up in the air. We got a couple mile high blaze players there, but no, this one is gonna be complete to number 11, Casey Harris, with the biggest reception of the game for Derby City right now when they needed it most, and that was Buckner's first completed pass of the season. Wow, well that was a... So Buckner stays in at quarterback, turns and hands the ball right away to number 13. That's Brooke Little. Brooke Little is met with a large amount of mile high blaze players. Takes it, hands it off, keeps it. No, Furman's got the ball. Furman is in for the touchdown. She backs her way into the end zone there. She drops back, Ooh. got somebody coming. She doesn't see her behind her and it's gonna be no good. Backs to her left and her right. She takes the snap. She drops back. She throws a quick one to smooth Lowry Jones on the left side. Lowry Jones has tried to put the stiff arm on her. Gets pushed out of bounds. Finally, that's by number 11, Casey Harris. But she not before she gets another first down up at the Derby City 35-yard line. Well, Casey Harris just giving her a lot of room there. And then once she catches the ball, she just continues to back up.
Santa Steven takes the snap, looks back. She's got somebody coming around on her blind side. That's number seven, Alicia Meyer, that knocks it down. And are they going to say it was a strip sack? So it is going to be Derby City on the strip sack. Compliments of number seven, Alicia Meyer. Back in the quarterback position. A little bit of a fumble, the handoff there. She's trying to get it to number 42. That's Furman who drops the ball. Wow. wow. And now Mile High gets it back. Are you kidding me? <laughs> or the pay that their male counterparts get. This pass was tipped at the line of scrimmage, and it is complete, though. Great job coming back for the ball. Picked up by 18, Lacey Abel. Santa Steven waits for the snap. Snap comes up. She drops back, looks to her left, throws to her right. She's got a wide open receiver, and it's hit out of the way at the last minute by Casey Harris, or that would have been a mile high blaze touchdown. Uh, she was wide open right off that snap. It just we got delivered a little bit late. Championship. Santa Steven is under center. They do decide to drop back. She's looking for the end zone. She has a wide open receiver, and once again, Who's there to knock away the ball but Casey Harris? Oh, wow. Harris has the defensive plays of the game so far, preventing two. So the ball is snapped. Furman gets it. She is going to get that first down. In fact, she's going to gain it by two yards. So Derby City is going to move the chains. It's going to be first and 10 from their own 30-yard line. Be wide down to her right. She's looking both ways. Wang is going to get met in the backfield, and she is going to go down. That looks like it was, was that Phelps? She drops back, she looks for somebody to throw the ball to and it's gonna fall down. Mile High is gonna take over on downs. There was great coverage there. That ball was intended for Casey Harris. She just couldn't come down with it. And now, your 2022 Division II Women's Football Alliance National Champions, the Mile High 